setting up the Durrani 360 fisheye camera on a Durrani NVR. Uh, so once it's been connected directly into the back of the NVR, you'll be able to see the image as such on your screen here. So based in a 360 degree view. So what you want to check first is to make sure it's been added correctly under the right protocol. So if you just pop into the menu of the NVR, if we go into camera, we just want to make sure that the protocol that we're on is private. So this is my 360 camera here. So if it's not on private, we just need to go into the cam config and pop it onto the IP address and just make sure it is set to private, not on Viv. So once that's done, it's okay and everything's up and running. So you can check the video stream just by clicking on the play button here as well to have a look. So there it is. So on the Durrani uh, IP 10, um, 11, 11A, you can only look at the image in a 360 degree view as such here. If you have a Durrani IP 99, which is the advanced B series NVR, you'll be able to de-warp this image. However, on your phone, which we'll go through in a minute, you'll be able to actually de-warp the image and play back in, in a, uh, a selected view. So from here, we can also just go into the playback of that camera. So we choose which one we want there. And playback is down the bottom, so we can select what time we want to have a look at. And here's all your playbacks and your backup and record functions down here as well. So just start a clipping or take a snapshot. Okay, so moving on to the phone playback of the 360 camera. So while we're logged into uh, your account on the mobile app and load up the device, you can see your three, uh, 360 camera here. Right, so you'll also notice on the screen there's a fish ID war button. So if we select that there, we can then, just touching the screen, just to move that camera around and see what we're looking at. So we're selecting it, we can choose what uh, what sort of view that we want. So at the moment I'm looking at a 360 plus PTZ. So there is my 360 down the bottom of the entire room and the PTZ up the top there. So we can also have a look at the fisheye and PTZ. So if we just click on that button there, there we'll see uh, three different aspects of that same camera based on the 360. So you can see the colors up the top here. So blue, the yellow, and we've also got the purple. So we can move those around as well. So if we just select that purple one, and we can just slide it around with our finger, pointing it wherever we want it to point. So we can choose to do that with all three of those there as well. So selecting that fisheye button there as well from the screen. You can obviously choose your mounting position. So mine's on the ceiling. You can choose to have it on the wall or desktop depending on your mounting situation. So you can also just have a look at the two times 180, which will be a spread out of the entire room. So again, just putting your finger onto the screen, we can drag that around a little bit there to have a look at as well. So from the playback menu, we can just go straight into this camera. So here we have the playback of that fisheye camera. So the blue that we've got noted down the bottom here, that there, all the blue is just the constant recording as I've got my NVR set up to record 24 seven. And the red overlay that we have there is where motion has been detected. So again on the playback, what we can do is put our finger up onto the image anywhere here and we can pull it down and move it around to have a look at any part that we want. So selecting the fisheye button first there. Went to fisheye. And just putting my finger on, there we go. So move it around and I can look at any part of that picture that I want to. And from here I can take a snapshot or a recording of that image if there's motion. So just taking a snapshot, that will save that to my files. And I can also take a recording and that will save it to the app there as well. So I can also change how I want to view this fisheye again, the same as what we're doing with the live view. We can do that on playback as well. So if we go to the fisheye 360, I can also take a snapshot there. So if we select view from here, oops, just missed it.
So they'll go into pictures and videos. And in there will be my playbacks and my recordings that I've just taken. So you can see here, these ones I've just recently taken. So if we just click on that one there, that there is my fisheye image that I have selected from the playback. So I can play back um, in any configuration that I like, and I can live view in any configuration I like from the app as well. So from here, I can choose whatever I want to do with that picture. Uh, so from the bottom here, we can message, mail, uh, what, what, whatever we need to do. So let's we'll close that one off. And what we'll do is we'll just pop back into the live view. So again, we're going to get the fisheye. Now on the NVR, it's going to record the fisheye mode only there. Um, but on the on your phone app, you can play back uh, any any configuration you like. So the NVR is basically just to give you the general overview of that camera, which you can view in this mode here. Um, but from the app, it's going to record and be able to decode into the uh, fisheye modes there for you. So we can also log into that camera and make a few other changes if we need to. Um, we can log directly into the MVR via the IP address of that MVR. So mine is 192.168.0.12. I've just got a quick link to it here. So we pop that in, that will get me into my actual MVR itself. So from here, this is just the password, uh, username and password for the MVR and I can log in. And camera four, we can live view that camera there. So we can also go into the setup of this camera and we can access. So now I'm logged directly into the camera interface itself uh, via, via the NVR. So this uh, camera is still plugged in to my NVR. If you don't get the live view image or you've got a problem getting the image, uh, you just need to check the ActiveX settings on your PC um, to see the system administrator for getting those things changed there if you are having dramas seeing the picture. So again, I, I can choose to look at this any way I like on my computer. So there's my four options there and it shows me what color is what on the screen here. So I can move those around again, as was demonstrated on the actual app itself. So the app's obviously the one to uh, the easier one to use. Um, you're always going to have it on your mobile phone, and it will take those snapshots in the five megapixel uh, image quality there for you as well. So again, you're choosing which way you want to mount it, uh, and I can have a look at whatever view that I like here. So there's my two at 180. So it shows all the combinations down here, and I can move those anywhere I want to have a look at. So I've also got the, the setup of the camera here. Not much you should really have to change with, but uh, if you want to go into these settings, more than welcome. If anything gets changed here and it stops working, best thing to do is just go down to the system, maintain, and then just do a default of the camera if you're troubling there. So you can check for new upgrades here as well. So cloud upgrade, you can do this from the MVR. There are other videos on how to do this. If we go to detect, it will search. Mine is up to date, but if there is a new one, it will let you know and it'll give you the option to upgrade from here. So the important ones you've got from this screen here, um, obviously are your, your video settings. So you just want to make sure they're set, well, to, well, whatever you need them to, to, to be. Uh, you can increase the frame rates here as well. I'm not going to do it because I don't need to reset here, but you can change a few settings in there. There is audio on these cameras as well. They have built-in microphone, so the, it will be on as default. There is only one line, so you can only have one on at a time there. Uh, again, all these options are available in the NVR itself. So we can pop in and have a look at the image. So from here, we can just uh, change any contrast, brightness, anything we want just to in, in enhance that image. Um, it's, it's preset to suit most situations, but some people do like to change it based on where it's installed. So you might have a, a window through here, which is quite bright, where you might need to just change um, your brightness levels or your saturation and your contrast things there. So you can flow through these menus and have a look, but there are other videos on how this system here works. But effectively, uh, we're just gonna be using the NVR uh, to display the image. And on your phone, you can really um, use the fisheye features a lot more. Back up your pictures there, email everything from, from the mobile phone.